Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're going to take a look at another simple first order differential equation that we can solve by separating. Now remember, the goal is to rewrite your differential equation in the form a function of y times dy equals a function of x times dx. Now here, a good first step I like to go through, if possible, is to isolate the derivative, and we can easily do that by subtracting the 2xy term to the right side. So let's start with that. So we're going to get now the derivative dy over dx equals negative 2xy. And from here, we can easily separate it. I'm going to multiply both sides by dx, and then at the same time, I'll divide by y. And what we get is 1 over y dy equals negative 2x dx. And this is now properly separated. A function of y times dy equals a function of x times dx. All right, we just need to now integrate both sides. Left side, we're going to integrate with respect to y. And the right side, we're going to integrate with respect to x. All right, and these antiderivatives are really simple. The left side is going to integrate to natural log of y. It's worth pointing out, because you're integrating both sides, you only need to include one integration constant. And I always like to include that on the x side. So when we find your antiderivative of the right side with respect to x, we'll get negative x squared. And we'll include the integration constant c on that side. And that's it. What we have here is what's sometimes called an implicit solution to our differential equation. And this is simply, it's an equation or solution that's not solved for y. All right, at this point in your differential equations course, a lot of the problems that you solve by separating lead to implicit solutions that are very difficult, if not impossible, to solve for y. And that's what we call solving for y, an explicit solution. Fortunately, this one, we can very easily convert to an explicit solution, solving for y. So let's go ahead and go through that. So let's start with our equation here. Natural log of y equals negative x squared plus c. And our goal to solve for y, let's cancel the natural log of y out. And to do that, we're going to exponentiate each side using base e, the base of natural log. Now be careful. Make sure you don't just exponentiate each term. Remember your basics from algebra, what you do to one side, do to the other side. So let's exponentiate both sides with respect to base e. So we'll get e to the natural log of y equals e to that whole right side, negative x squared, plus c. All right, the left side is going to cancel. That's going to leave us with y. Exponentials and logs are inverse functions of one another. And the right side we're going to simplify this. Now, we're going to be using properties of exponents backwards. We're adding in the exponent, and we can rewrite that as a multiplication of bases. So the basic rule that we're going to be using, which I always like to review, is your basic exponent rule here. But we're going to be using it going from the right side to splitting that apart. All right, so if I rewrite this, we'll get e to the negative x squared times e to the c. And this is where, in a differential equations course, if your professor is going even a little bit too fast, it's going to look really confusing. e is a constant. c is a constant. A constant raised to a constant is another constant. So this, e to the c, is a constant. Now, technically, we should give that a different name, maybe call it d or c1 or c2, 
but a lot of times when you have these combinations of constants being multiplied, exponentiated in various combinations, we're just gonna write e to the c as c. So you can write here your solution. We'll pull that constant out front. You can write this as c times e to the negative x squared. And this is what we call an explicit solution. And just keeping in mind, implicit solutions are not solved for y. An explicit solution, it can or is solved for y. And there we go. So both of these, I'll say, are acceptable as answers. It just depends what your professor is looking for. It's probably gonna be stated in the directions for the problem, solve the differential equation and find an explicit solution. If it's open-ended, just solve the differential equation, then either of those should be complete full credit. If not, your professor is a real jerk. Hope you enjoyed this video, straight into the point. If you're enjoying the content, support the channel, like and subscribe.